Hey y'all, welcome back to Krista's Kitchen. So tonight we have a special treat. Eleanor is actually going to cook dinner for us and she's trying out a new recipe. We're having white chicken lasagna soup. So let's get into it and see how it turns out. We've got a little bit of olive oil heating up in the bottom of our stock pot. We're going to add in one large chicken breast that we've diced up. We're just gonna let this cook for a couple of minutes. It doesn't have to be cooked all of the way, but to sear some of those pieces and get it in the process. All right, so now that our chicken has cooked for just a few minutes, we're gonna move it to the side and we're gonna cook our vegetables now. So to our olive oil down in the bottom of the pan, we added just a little bit of butter. And now we're going to pour in one medium diced onion, two small carrots, and one diced green bell pepper. And we're gonna saute these for a few minutes just to get them softening up. So this is okay. one third of a cup. Why is there flour in this, Mama? To thicken it up. Oh. Look at all that. Now we need to add in eight cups of chicken broth. I'm going to use bouillon powder and water for our chicken broth. We're going to dump our chicken back in. We want to be careful for it doesn't splash. And I'm adding in uh, one can of Eugenie? cannellini, cannellini beans that I washed and drained. We're going to gently mix it, mix, mix it so we don't squish our beans. We're going to add in one teaspoon of parsley, one it. tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder, another one. That's looking good already. We're gonna add half teaspoon of oregano, half teaspoon of thyme, two bay leaves. We eat leaves. We take these out before we eat it. Okay. They're just for seasoning. Hmm. They're also good to keep the critters out of your rice and dry beans in storage. Isn't that just weird to put leaves in our food? Half teaspoon of pepper and about a half teaspoon of salt. Next, we're going to take about two-thirds of a box of lasagna noodles and break them into pieces and drop them down in. I'm going to try for about thirds for these lasagna noodles. Okay, so we're going to bring this back to a boil and let these noodles cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then we'll add our cream and the rest of our ingredients. We want to keep an eye on it and keep stirring the bottom to make sure these noodles don't stick. Now that our noodles are getting pretty soft, we're going to add in three cups of half and half and half a cup of heavy cream. All right, now we're going to try and fish out our bay leaves, which I see, well, there's one poking up right there. There it is. That one's running away from us. He doesn't want to be taken up. He likes how warm it is. Mm -hmm. Is that what you think? Yeah. Oh, I just want to scoop it up and pour it into a bowl. So we do have this on a medium heat. 
I'm going to sprinkle in about a cup of Parmesan. And Eleanor's grabbing some bowls for us to ladle this up and taste test. Now, if let's I'm... see if my hard work paid off and let's get eating because I'm hungry. Blow on it. The chicken is really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Of course the noodle is good. <laughs> what about your broth? My broth? What broth? This? The juice. The juice. The juice is pretty much, I think, my favorite part. So it's good? <laughs> okay. You, did you save some for us? Alright. Let's get eating. Is this a keeper recipe? For sure. And is it easy enough for a kid to do? Because I did it. <laughs> Alright y'all. Well thank you for joining us. And we hope that you found something that you want to give a try. Let us know. See y'all next time. Bye.